men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burg Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the fear at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed! For us! For us! For us! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruid's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. Maybe they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear den. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruined shit stains will see us coming. Stop! 
Steady your hands! Hold for impact! Hold!
Oswald. He lives. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Shut your eyes and twig spine. <clears throat> Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop. <clears throat> Silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize. Come and get him. <clears throat> Clan, you lead ruin. Yes, that is to let this country dry for two summers. Flee, ruined, while pity restrains my blade. Not till I've taken all these shores have to offer. King, and it will not be you! That groveling worm in a cage? You must be blind to stand with such a man! Fighting for a share of ruin! Your battle the is not yet won, Oswald. of Niflheim awaits you. That day will not be met today. Why does a Dane fight to the nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all! He has an abundance... Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argive swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose?
He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please. Blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. Speak with Oswald. See if he's well. Good spirit to the ships! Place the old part. Oswald, leave! You fight well. Evil. Saxon and Dane. We fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Celebration. 
my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor! I'm so glad you've made it. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. This man and wife, I name you. Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. You ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. 
Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothia. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. task for the wolf kissed. Ah, uh, barely a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Let's have a drink. Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the Ale Beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. Uru wat Kissing a flagstone soon. Zael is strong, Rodin. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolf Kissed. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. 
Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Sheath your plow sword, bro dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you you thought? No, no. I wasn't serious. Come on now, drink and be merry. Well ahead of you, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he, you know, I. Behold, how light-footed I am. You're as light-footed as a bear in a birch tree. These are the moves of Elmenar. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. I like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. This, Eivor, I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss. And suffering, but it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now. In all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us?
To the good King Oswald! Skull! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick, brother! We can't lose to Oswald! It was a beautiful wedding, Oswald, like you said it would be. Thanks to you and everything you've done here. East Anglia needed a leader. I simply helped put the right one on the throne. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Sabor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together. Together. I'll gather my things. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Valdis! Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My bannerfolk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well, and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor.
Oh, look at you, Chewie. Do not know five million. Roland! Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Polgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafu's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holka. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? 
It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some way... Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't the care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. The King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. 